Hey everybody and welcome to Bunker Punks. So Bunker Punks is a brand new roguelite FPS on Steam Early Access. It came out today and it is by a robot, no, no sorry, Ninja Robot Dinosaur. I knew I was going to get those three words mixed up. I knew I was going to get one of them fucking mixed up. So it's Ninja Robot Dinosaur is the developer of the game. And it's really cool. It's a very, it's a very interesting, very unique feeling roguelite FPS. Very good feeling. The guns feel very good. The gunplay is very good. It's got some base building involved. You go as a punk, you upgrade yourself via the base and by collecting gear and guns and weapons throughout the run. You go through kind of like Doom-esque levels, I suppose. And then you go back to a base screen where you can upgrade your base. I I'd base well just fucking showing you the game. It's available today. We'll go new game. And it's uh, for a price of $15, full price or £10.99 sterling. Full price of the 10% sale at the moment. And as you start, we can pick one of two punks, not quite heroes, anti-heroes, perhaps. Um, so we've got Molly Pop, who is um, uh, faster than our, our uh, Dallas Beach character here, uses pistols as well. Has some armor to start, lower health, or higher health, lower health, higher speed, armor, pistol expert, well-rounded pistol slinger, or shotgunny person, shotgun expert. We'll go Molly Pop first, I guess, and we'll go new game. So, essentially... Your classic FPS stuff applies. Shoot things with gun, I'm run around, in. bunny hops, all that kind of stuff. What I will say is the sound and the feeling of the game feels very good, very fast paced. Hold on, I may need to adjust my sensitivity a little. Because that's very, ah, that's much nicer. There we go. So I'm not very fond of high, high sense in a game like this. So basically you run about, you shoot the guns. I don't know if you have to actually shoot these canisters of badness. I think they maybe come out if you don't shoot them, the robots within. So, uh, report to delinquency. Delinquents are bad. Profits are, uh, yeah, exactly. Profits are up. Well, the guns is pretty cool. So, you don't actually have to reload your weapon. The 50 rounds I have, I could fire my 50 rounds without reloading. I'll get some more ammo there. And uh, you collect ammo, you collect gear, and at the end of the floor, you get an elevator, and after after a couple of those, you can upgrade your base to do some things. Now, at the moment, I can only hold one weapon. Which is not too good for business, because I would like to get some more weapons. I think we'll take this, though, even though we're not, a, we're not a, a rifle expert, we're not a rifler, we're a pistol expert, but we'll grab this sucker here. Yes, sounds good, it feels good, it looks good, smells good. What are you doing, my little friend? Getting a little too close for comfort. And um, as you go through, as you would imagine, it gets progressively harder and harder. That's a grenade launcher, that is. I need to show you the grenade launcher, of course I do. So at the moment, we can only carry one weapon. Soon, we'll get an upgrade that will allow us to carry two. And then from there, we can, you know, build ourselves up. Build ourselves up at Buttercup, hello. There you go, have one of those. Hmm. I had a feeling that was going to hurt me. I had a feeling that was going to hurt me as well. It's fine. Let's just get in and grab the health and grab the stuff. Very satisfying feeling game, I'll tell you. Very satisfying indeed. Got it. It's just the ELD shotgun. I will take back the rifle, to be honest. If I can find where the fuck I put it. Hmm. Da -da -da. Open this up, open that up. Now, there's a few things now, it's, it's newly out on early access, there's a couple of things like, for instance, uh, stuff despawns really quickly and I find it hard to like run over something and pick it up. Occasionally I'll run over it, try and pick it up and it won't register the fact I pressed the E key because it's very fast paced, as you can see. And you do this, you walk about and you shoot things and then you get your base building, oh fuck. Three hit combo, ah, uh, it's a lot of me being hit there. Aim for the floor. Yes. The assault rifle good. Ah, jacket. Okay, so we picked up the leather jacket. Now, can I press I or... Hmm. I'm wondering if I can see my inventory because I didn't get to read what the uh, the details were because I picked it up straight away. I guess we'll just leave. So once you've killed all the enemies... Ah, there we go. Okay. So it shows me the jacket. Um... I don't know what the jacket conveys in terms of stats. We'll need to find another jacket in order to, you know, compare. Comparison. But we're in, what about? Profit zero. The fall will Here come when stuff happens. Oh, everything's too fast for my brain today. I can't, can't keep a hold on what's going on. I am the greatest aimer of all time. Born to aim. Not born to dodge, though, apparently. 
Born for many things, dodging not one. I have 12 health. That's not good. Really? 7 health. But again, I have the grace aim. Inhuman reactions, lads. They should have me at the next CSGO major. In fact, they won't let me because they know I'm too good. That's the problem. Right. <laughs> What's this one saying? Practice orderly conduct. Hmm. The guns feel super satisfying, though. Man. I keep getting scummed. I should be picking this stuff up as well. Try and pick up all the stuff. The credits. It's a handgun, that is. We don't want it. Five health, the dream. So, first shot accuracy, very good. Maybe tapping with this thing's the ticket. Ah. Is he dead? Health. Yes. Six health. Not a lot, but some. You can hear the heavy breathing. My uh, character is not long for this world. Nice. Nice. It feels so good. It feels good to be shooting things. I, re I recommend it just, just to shoot things a couple of times. This guy's a boss, I think. Aye. Just to shoot a few things. Recommended. It feels very fucking good. Right, we'll exit. That's all you got? So floor two of two, return to headquarters. So our punks can now be upgraded. We can start building our base. And with the base, we can then add on things like, in this slot, for instance, the firing range, which will give us plus one carry capacity so we can have more weapons, improves damage with firearms as well. Very good. We also want to put in the infirmary, which heals our punks. Um, uh, also heals five health between floors. Very useful, you would imagine. So, our quarters, we're building, we're doing stuff. So we can pick upgrades and things, like for instance, with our credits, what will we go for? We can go bullseye or SWAT firing range. So bullseye increases damage with pistols and handguns, increases damage with shotgun type weapons. Since we are the pistol player, we're gonna go with the pistol, I would say. Now, that can be further upgraded with increases damage with pistols and handguns by 25% upgrade um, to increase to 50% to upgrade. That costs us 100. Or I can add in the shotgunny one. And over here, what we can do is increase the maximum health of all punks or punks heal when they do uh, combo attacks. That seems like it could be good. It's also very expensive. So fuck it. We'll get both. Ha ha! We're off. Now, I could also... Oh, fuck it. Let's just spend all our credits. We'll get the shotgun one as well. And I believe... How does this work? Shotgun weapons. Very good. Nano implants. It's an expensive upgrade, that one is. Let's raid! So, we have, um, I believe, got two options here. Is this our base? Hmm. So you can kind of get an idea of where you wish to travel. I can't move the map, can I? No. Okay, so the map is static. So, um, this will give us two medical. And this will give us security and R&D. Hmm. This leads on to R&D and security. I'm not sure which is the best of the two paths to take. I kind of want to go with the medical first. Ah, so we can finally see. So the leather jacket gives us 10 armor and 5 hands. 5 impact wrists. And you can get different pieces of clothing. Like shoes. And I guess that's like love. I'm not sure. We have our assault rifle and pistol. Let's start the run. Let's get in about it. So we're off. We're in. We're about. This is Molly Pop. I'm going in. So we've got that extra five health. No. Pair of boots. Not bad. Accurate as thy potato. If your accuracy is above root vegetable, you're not doing it right. Woo! Fast paced FPS is bringing me back to my childhood. I think this is why I'm so fond of classic feeling FPSs. As it reminds me of, you know, the first computer, the first FPS. Um, so, we could get... Hmm, Subby Rocket Launchers plus 15%. I'd rather have the... I'd rather keep the Moto Boots, to be honest, and keep the, the armor. Because we're not going to really use a grenade launcher. While we've got the... The ye olde assault rifle. How do I change my weapon? 
hold the phone. This is something I haven't worked out yet. I'm sure we'll work it out in due course. All, all the buttons you would imagine to work. Or maybe I just don't have a, a secondary weapon yet. Maybe it's just... Maybe it was a bug. Maybe I don't actually have the, the handgun. We shall see. Ah, see, now I've got the handgun. I don't know why I didn't have it before. There we go. Pick up the credits. Credits, very important for upgrading our, our base. And this is about as far as I played. So all of this is now going to be fresh and new. Ah. So he was the guy that was the mini boss of the last four. And as you would expect, the enemies are progressively getting a little tougher. I think they gain health as you go through. Baseball bat. Nice. It's a hard hat, that is. Ah, so tab changes your weapon when you've got two. That's the exit. I'm not sure we're quite ready yet. Um, I have certainly been here. That sounded like there was an enemy behind me. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh, there was I! Follow me around, you rascals. Two-hit combo, I get a bit of a heal. Not bad, don't mind if I do. Wow. Whoa! Inhuman reactions. <laughs> so what are we looking for? I don't know, high tier weaponry. What is that? Is that different to ours? Oh, it's precisely the same, isn't it? I seen the green and I was like, is that a slightly different weapon? Nah. Same one. Have I been this way? I have. You can tell by all the death and carnage and explosions and shit. Right. We're good to go. Next floor. Woo! Let's do it. So I wonder if the number of floors increases the further you go. So we've had two floors both consecutively on both go. of these raids. I wonder if it's worth taking the shotgun. Always moving. Probably is worth taking the shotgun into it since we've had, we've got the shotgun upgrade. So getting this sucker out and showing them who's boss. Oh fuck! Fuck! Balls! There we go. One for you, sir. Oh, one for you. Boom. At least because a lot of these pickups are in compartments that only spawn the thing once you shoot the compartment. Not a lot of it is despawning, so I guess that's the strategy, is only open what you're going to need at the time. Otherwise you're going to miss all the shit on the floor, like the tech points and the upgrades and boom. What's this? That's the assault rifle again, kaboom. We'll go this way. Fuck. So I got a heal there for hitting you know, multiple enemies, or killing multiple enemies. Just find 69 health. Planned. There we go. That. that is like a glove that is. Glove of Metal by Manowar. Fantastic song. So, you don't need to kill all the enemies then, it must be the floor boss, or the mini boss. That you need to deal with. In order to progress. So what's the difference here? So this is the... The hoodie is less defense, but more hand. I'll stick with the defense. I feel like not dying is probably important. And a game like this, defense is always good. Planning to fail is, you know, or... Failing to plan is planning to fail, or whatever it is they say. I have no idea. Sayings. Confusing. Right, so... What we got? I can't do anything here. Can I do anything here? I cannot. Oh, I guess it put. I was trying to put it in there, but I guess it just put it in there. So I could do enhancements. I guess I done an enhancement, didn't I? Or did I? Pistols and handguns. So I don't have the others unlocked. I guess this would be like ARs, bazookas, other stuff. 
Which we'll need to unlock with like R and D. Mm. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that twice, so our health should be high. And I guess we spend our tech points on stuff eventually. When we upgrade our base. So I could actually go here, but I think we'll go here instead to the, the Vol Tech silo. So as you'll see. So we got the gloves. Hand armor, they call them. So our revolvers or our pistols are really good. Our, uh, mm. So our rifle damage is not very good. Which makes me think we should probably use just handguns and... Oh wait, I can view my thing here. 10 and 10, I see. Handguns and shotguns, yo. Aye, we're very much a shotgun build, so... Ah, so I can set my loadout at the start of the run with guns that I have collected, I assume. Hmm. Or maybe you get the guns through upgrades and... Oh, I have no idea. Anyway. He was red, therefore different. Ah. Uh, what's this? That's a health upgrade. Or a health pack. Man, I am, I, I, I don't know why, but I'm AD, 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 Too much Counter-Strike. <laughs> or maybe not enough Counter-Strike is the problem. Low ammo. Not anymore. Ah, uh, sneaky. Hold on, let me kill this fella first. And then we can look at what this upgrade is. I'll also destroy this because it's kind of scary. Change the shotgun. So what do you do? Impact armor. Same defense, but that gives a bonus for explosive weaponry. Something we do not need. So our shotgun should be potent as fuck. Oh, what are you? You're a dog man. All right, dog man. So it, it would appear. That the enemies are gaining armor as well. Now if I shoot this and it doesn't blow up in nuclear stuff. I will keep our riot gloves. Yeah. I had a feeling something nasty was gonna happen. What do you do? Shotgun oh wait, the riot helmet seems pretty good. Gonna borrow this. Huh? I'm sure after a certain time limit they start opening up. But let's say I have us watch a little further into the, the dungeon, or the, you know, the facility. Right, so that's the entrance. I'm just making sure we don't miss anything now. I wonder if this will be three floors high. Or two again. Hmm. I've not been down this way. Sneaky. I like that you get damage numbers as well. I'm starting to notice them. Um, I think we're done here. The bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. The jumping about All feels right. good. Oh, so it has three floors. Okay, cool. Well read. Nice. Research, security, here research. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what the... The symbols and the loading screen are all about. Eagle-eyed. Not potato aim. Not potato aim at all. So this rev um, I keep calling it the revolver, but the handgun, the pistol. Hmm. Same weapon. Seems to do potato damage from distance. Although I can't be sure. Yeah, and that does a lot of damage from close up. Man, I hope we get like a Desert Eagle or some sort of really cool spicy handgun. That's what we need. More weapons. So if you threw at this like an end to the gungeon or nuclear throne level of weaponry. Uh, 
It would be pretty cool. I'm focused. Very focused. These dog men take a pounding. Fuck. Mark. Woo! Feels good. Oh, it's so fast paced and, and it, like I said, the gunplay feels very good. So although we're finished, we should probably spend a bit of time just having a look around. Just in case. You never know what you've missed. Now the usual warnings would apply with a game like this. It's so fast and twitchy that if you suffer from motion sickness, I would be wary. Of course there is an FOV slider, as you would expect. But you still might have, you know, a bit of the old motion sickness because it is very hectic. Wanted. That is us. We are the one that's wanted. Hmm. Have I been in here? I don't know what these guys want, but I'm having none of it. None of it at all. I like the shotgun. I think a better shotgun would be more fun. Let's go down to the next right. floor, shall we? All right. What what do we what do we need from this? I don't really know. So this is the research floor. Here we go. I understand now. I'm sure they're trying to like shock me. They're trying to do some like fancy shock stuff. But I ain't gonna let it happen. No interest in it. He's not dead. Is he dead? He's not dead. He's dead. I guess even for the head does make a difference. I'm, I'm trying to vary where I shoot to see if it does make a difference. We should try again. We've already had that item, so. So there is a damage drop off based on distance, I think. Yeah, so distance plays into it. So I took a lot of damage there fanning about. I wanted to see, so damage drops off over distance even with the revolver. So you want to be up close and personal. Spamming from distance does not seem to be the best way to deal with stuff. So you do a spicy amount of damage once you get in that range. So from here, let's try it here. One damage it should be, three. And from here, that might have been a crit. But you get ten from close up. Interesting. Ah, ah, playing far too fast and loose, old phone. Why am I shooting that barrel? Nice. So yeah, mouse and keyboard, probably preferable. I don't know if there is gamepad support, I haven't even tried. I'm sure it does, but I'm not sure why you would want it. Truthfully, I mean, I guess some people either need to use a gamepad or they like to for comfort reasons. I'm sure it would work, but keyboard and mouse seems to be fine for me. It's an FPS after all. I enjoy ye olde keyboard and mouserino. Um, I think we're good to go. And um, we are done. Very good. Very good indeed. So I think we'll do one more facility. So we got 300 points. I could do some more health. I think we should do some more handgun stuff. I have nothing else I can upgrade that with yet. Um, nano implants. Punks heal 1 HP per hit on combo kills. Ooh. Let's save the rest of our credits for the upgrade that we'll do on this thing. 
per hat on combo kills. I think that could be good. Could be very good. Should we go up here? Skerald segment building? Logistics, security, and R&D. I guess we will. I think you you must have to... I don't know if there's a... Yeah, okay. This, this is the boss area, I think. I reckon. Um. Oh, so we... Do we have choice of all of the stuff that we've ever seen? Or just the stuff that we bring back? I guess just the stuff we bring back. Yeah, so we'll take the, the Glock, is what that looks like. And the Shorty again, because we're built for it. Probably better with the Assault Rifle, I guess. So, Logistics, we'll do this, this one, then we'll be finished. Going in. Molly Pop going in big. Point blank fucked by the robot. Not happy. AD, AD, AD. The thing is, it doesn't really work too well with AI because the robot is just like, well, I'll aim at the one spot and continue firing. They don't really adjust their aim if you AD, AD. They're like, what the fuck are they doing? The AI is just like, nah, just stop moving. Maybe if I stand still but move occasionally, that would be better for me. Shotgun is pretty dope, not gonna lie, it feels powerful. Get that ammo. See that thing there, that looked big. That looked like it hosted something quite scary. Ah, the shock. Ah! Keep that shit to yourself, mother effer. Ah, steady now. So, what this game really needs, so far at least, I mean, I'm not sure if there's more after the, the headquarters of this area. This might just be the start of the game, I'm not sure. Enemy variety, absolutely necessary. If this wants to be a game that's going to go on for a long time, as in, has people playing it for, for you know, time, enemy variety, absolutely important. So far we've seen, that's a new enemy, run away, run away. That's a new enemy, alright. He was big and scary. Oh, fuck. But more enemy variety for sure. <laughs> Would be nice. Ah! Oh, I should have expected that. <laughs> should have expected it well! That's us dead, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was us dead. So, the Wasteland Merchant Caravan. Visit the merchants to unlock punks, weapons, armor. Ah! Oh! So, the stuff you collect through the game is what you do here. A rifle expert? Fuck yeah. And, um... Oh, so this is where you get your upgrades. I see. Interesting. Well, we're not going to do any more. We're going to save some more credits for next time. So! This is Bunker Punks. Uh, bunker Punks, sorry. Available now on Steam Early Access for a price of, I believe it was $15. And um, of course, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff. And I will see you next time.